Rick, Ed Clear has taken some stances that appeal to both Republicans and Democrats, but Sam Charbonneau is hoping to tap into some voter frustration on some key issues. Uh, I always try to look for bipartisan solutions and uh, bring folks together uh, across the aisle to solve problems. Republican Ed Clear prides himself on his independence. I'm never afraid to take tough stands uh, regardless of, of uh, uh, politics or party. He voted against the constitutional amendment defining marriage as only between a man and a woman and against the controversial Religious Freedom Restoration Act. But he did vote with Republicans to create private school vouchers, something Democrat Sam Charbonneau says hurts public schools. You know, our teachers in Floyd County, their performance based on testing. And if we have public taxes going to another voucher program that the teachers aren't held accountable for the same situation, that's totally unfair. Charbonneau considers fighting the opioid crisis a top priority. I've been working with the Department of Child Services for about 16 years. Um, so I've been a community leader helping out the community, dealing with that vulnerable population and understanding the struggles uh, that people in Florida County have and working with community leaders on addressing those struggles. Charbonneau also wants to lower the bridges toll for Southern Indiana residents. Because we don't have Chicago wages here. We have Southern Indiana wages here. And of course our minimum wage hasn't increased in 10 years. Clear sponsored an amendment to set a funding goal for fighting the opioid crisis. I will uh, continue to raise that issue and uh, uh, bring attention to uh, the need to, to have an honest conversation about um, uh, what it's going to cost to uh, uh, fight this epidemic. And he says he also voted to support education. Public schools are receiving uh, record levels of funding. Um, we have increased funding uh, in every budget cycle since I've been in the legislature. Now, Clear is a real estate agent. He's easily won re-election a few times since he beat long-serving Democrat Bill Cochran back in 2010 by about 100 votes. Charbonneau has never held public office, but he was recently featured on CNN after attending training by the National Democratic Training Committee. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.